Five hours on the road and we are here, Baker City. History goes way back into the 1800s. We've got the history of Baker City. We're gonna stop by the Geyser Grand Hotel. Very excited to bring you this ride on the road. Wow, I'm finally here, the Geyser Grand Hotel. This place is amazing. Barbara? Yes. Hey, I'm Rod. It's so nice to meet you. Oh Thank you for making the trip out. You know, when you say you're going to Baker City, everybody goes, you gotta go to the Geyser Grand oh, Hotel. Thank you. So here we are. <laughs> so you and your husband walked in when? When it had been closed for a while? Yes, it had been closed to occupancy since the summer of 68 when the cast of the movie Paint Your Wagon stayed here. They got the Hollywood money and said, uh, this, is, this is just a fire trap. This is too dangerous for folks to stay here. So we came in July of 1993 at the request of the city to see if we couldn't do something to save it. And you basically have returned it as close as you could to the original look and design of the hotel. Our guideline is authenticity to be true to the vision that it was. I feel like when I walked in, this is definitely a piece of the old American West. You can feel it, you can sense it when you're here. This is where you'll be staying tonight, Rod. Oh my gosh, look at the high <laughs> ceilings. Oh. oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. That's very cool. Can I help you, sir? Well, oh my goodness, you're Randy Dotson. I am, and you're Rod. I am. <laughs> Rod, it's nice to meet you. You know, it's funny when they told me about your store, Ryder Brothers, they said, office equipment, a little section of toys. But I walk in, Randy, there's toys all over the place. Yeah, you know, Rod, we've been here a long time, since 1901, and you gotta learn how to do a lot of things to stay in business in a small town. Are you ever so busy that you just have to spend the night in the store? You know, when you're here and you own your own business, sometimes it is seven days a week. <laughs> Tell me how Baker City's changed since you were a kid. Well, more it's smaller retail establishments, Rod. We used to have large, like the drug stores. We had large clothing stores with the change and being able to buy online and travel being easier. You find that the, most businesses are smaller, offer more unique items to bring people in. Check this out. It's a typewriter desk. I love this. Devin Colton, is it more important that you're the director of the Chamber of Commerce or that you're a hometown girl? You tell me. Uh, probably a hometown girl, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Devin, what's up with all the different animals and reptiles? So we've got a local artisan here called Art Roamers, and they create all of these animals themselves and they rent them out or businesses can buy them. So you know all the things to do. What's the best <laughs> thing to do? Being downtown, checking out all the local galleries and uh, local restaurants. We're the only town in Eastern Oregon that has a distillery, a winery, and a couple breweries within blocks of each other. We're in the Baker Heritage Museum, and the first topic is swimming. 1905 bathing suit, Meyer and Frank, sold for 225 in the Sears and Robot catalog. Why are we featuring swimming, then? Because originally this building was built in 1920 as a natatorium, which is an indoor swimming pool. For war, they made wooden truck beds. They boarded over the swimming pool, and then they were supposed to restore it to a pool, and they did not. And then they were going to tear it down and turn it into a parking lot. And the Historical Society said, no, you're not. And then we turned it into a museum in 1982. A big part of history in this area was when the movie Paint Your Wagon came to town. Lee Marvin, Clint Eastwood, Gene Seberg. I remember this, it was a huge big time Western hit. So we bump into Larry, who's a volunteer here, and you actually helped build the town that Hollywood built, is that right? Yes, I was with a crew of carpenters from Hollywood, and I was a construction laborer. You had lunch with Lee Marvin? Well, he came up to me and said, let's have lunch. And I said, no, I'm not supposed to do that. And after the third time, I said, well, yeah, let's have lunch. You just had lunch? Just had lunch at the set. Okay, that's cool enough. Larry. <laughs> Are you ready? A little ride on the road extra. We snuck out of Baker City. Eric says we have to go to Haynes to try the steak. Okay, check out the wagon. Has to be a good sign. Nothing like cowboy country in Baker County. Mmm, so good. 
That's a classic meat and potatoes place, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you asked me during the, well, after you've done Baker City, you've seen the little shops, and you've had maybe a pint, uh, what do you do? I will tell you, a lot of people live there for the same reason a lot of people live over in the Bend area. They love the fact the Elkhorn Mountains are right there. Mm -hmm. Anthony Lake Ski Resort uh, in the winter, but a lot of hiking trails in the summer. The Wallawas aren't far off. And uh, people live there, they'll fly in and out of Boise mostly. It's a couple hour drive. And the fact that Boise's growing, a lot of that tourism for weekend getaways is coming to Baker City. Mm, I, I can see why. I remember when you were out there live, didn't you speak to a couple who used to live in Bend, but they yep. actually moved oh. out to Baker City because Bend wasn't small enough for them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said Ben was just getting crazy expensive and but they they found the same thing in Baker City that they loved in Ben in terms of the outdoor recreation. So cool. you have somebody from LA move there too? Didn't you talk to somebody who moved from? Yes, like have a, a great memory on our live yeah. shot back on August first. Yes, we had some that people that wanted to leave the big city, yeah. and I think they went there sight on scene. Wow, you know, yeah.